How you going? We're looking at Paradise Valley Speedway, New Zealand Super Stocks 2021 Finals. Uh, so we're just going to skim around this a little bit, get the feel for the sport, see some action. Uh, it reminds me, just from the descriptions I've heard from you guys, it's probably been suggested, by the way, about 100 times, about the time we do it, uh, that this is like uh, what we would call in the States, short track racing. This is grassroots racing, uh, you know, where someone you might know, maybe even yourself, you go down to the local track, you put a team together, and uh, you can enter all these different you know, super amateur racing leagues, and it's really, really fun, really competitive, and there's varying degrees uh, of league. Some of them do get pretty expensive. Now, fun fact, if you didn't know, I wish I could show some pictures. Maybe someday we can arrange that. I have been going to our local track called the Rockford Speedway. You can look it up online. I have been going there my whole life. I mean, literally since I could walk. Believe it or not, I grew up around this kind of racing, although I would like to see how this differs and how it compares. Dive in. This is from Blake Speedway. They will be linked in the description down below so you can check them out. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it looks like we have a dirt track. Look at the U in the middle, by the way. How badass. <laughs> okay, definitely a short track. Oh, ho, ho. oh my God. We are on the backstretch and there's already chaos. <laughs> oh my god okay whoa hold up hold up let me get some stuff out of the way here we are on dirt that's cool we have dirt tracks as well of course now the track i went to the most and then even probably the second track i went to the most up in wisconsin they were both paved of course they were not uh, dirt tracks but there are dirt tracks of course around here i just didn't hang out around those as much but uh that's always fun very exciting racing Something to note, this track looks really short, maybe like an eighth mile. doesn't even look like a quarter mile. Uh, and then, of course, uh, this has no banking either. So the Rockford Speedway has really heavy banking, so they can kind of fly around like almost sideways on the turns, right? Because what I mean is like the car is tilted sideways because it's so banked, right? Uh, whereas some tracks are just more flat like this one. But the cars are weird. They're kind of like sprint cars because they got the uh, the wing arrow on the roof there. But our sprint cars in the U.S. are a little different. These have like guards or like bumpers, like from bumper cars surrounding them. And they look smaller. And they definitely drift on the turns as you would expect on a dirt track, which is cool. I wouldn't even call it drift, I'd call it a power slide. I can't tell what they got for an engine by the sound. I'm gonna guess a four cylinder? Could be totally wrong. I apologize if I'm wrong. Any specs you'd like to share on these, please shoot them my way in the comments. That car is smoking. Holy crap. That was a pretty exciting start for a spectator because they were just out of control right away. I'm assuming this type of series, short track racing, you know, uh, Rubbin's racing. You get some action for sure. You probably get some big time crashes here and there as well. Okay, here's the action from a different day. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. It gets crowded out there, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't know how they keep it together out there, man. It's like survival. It's more survival than a race. Uh oh, uh oh, I thought the white one was gonna get turned around. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. The 29's riding up on the 106. Look at him, he's still on the gas. He's like, get off me, dude. Ha. Oh my god, they're stuck. No, maybe not. <laughs> Damn. They got that power slide down to a science though. It always looks it always looks so fun to drive on a dirt track. Something I've always wanted to do because I actually have driven at the Rockford Speedway uh, a few times. 
which is pretty exciting. But of course, that's different, right? It's paved, you get more grip. And then, of course, especially like I said, with the heavy banking, you could really uh, come into the turn pretty hot, right? And the car's basically gonna ride it through unless you are totally going too fast. But dirt tracks, you know, of course, you come in and then you get that power slide. And there's definitely more of an art to that. It's a totally different technique. And uh, quite frankly, once you got it down, I think it looks really fun. I mean, it really does. <laughs> So I don't know how these work, but I'm assuming that it might be somewhat similar. Like, uh, you know, if you're at the Speedway, you take your class, whether it's sportsmen, roadrunners, hornets, bandits, uh, and then, of course, the top-level late models and really top super lates, which is NASCAR-sanctioned, you know, and you run multiple heats throughout the night. So you might run three or four heats. You know, that basically determines who's going to be in the final race. And then the final race, you know, each heat race might be only 12 laps, 15 laps, something like that. And, of course, your main race might be 80 laps, 100 laps, something along the lines of that. Uh, so is that how this works, or do they just run, like, practice qualifying race? You know, I'm assuming this is probably going to be running heats, uh, it would make more sense as a local spectator sport. And then is this like, uh, just a random question, is this kind of like big time stuff where, you know, this is a lot of money to play ball here, or is this somewhat accessible to a lot of people, more just regular people that do this as a hobby and get into it and, and you know what, are, are scraping by trying to win the prize, prize money and stuff? Like, how's that work? Uh, what's the culture surrounding this? Uh, it like, like I said, it's really cool. New Zealand has really rich car culture uh with a big variety it seems like and it's really fun really fun to learn this is kind of a nice surprise compared to the last new zealand video we did which was totally about the weird different cars on the road and a bunch of japanese cars that no one else has ever heard of <laughs> this is a big departure from that here we go here's enough here's a night race oh my god we got flames at the start that's that's freaking awesome i never seen that at my track <laughs> that's pretty cool Oh, oh, they got bunched up. Bunched up in turn two, coming off the back straight. Oh, my God. Let me do my uh, announcing bit here. Want to hire me as a track announcer? You know my email. <laughs> oh, my God. Coming around. Oh, front flip. A front flip from the black car there. That is something that you don't see every day. This is freaking awesome. This is freaking awesome, guys. Holy smokes. I just clicked a random video on this series, and it is uh, turning out to be pretty damn entertaining. Wow. So obviously, it was edited out. They must have threw a yellow flag or, or maybe a red flag. I don't know. Gotten that situated, make sure they were okay, and of course, clean, you know, whatever cleanup is necessary. This is wild, man. And then they're back at it. How many of these speedways are sprinkled around New Zealand? I would have no idea. Let's see where this is at. Okay, so uh, we are hovering over New Zealand. Let's look it up. Um, oh, look at <laughs> Speedway Paradise Boulevard in New Mexico. Wow, that's funny. Not what we're wanting right now. We want this one, which I think would be it. Okay, so this is on the North Island. And look at that. Wow. It is like in some hills. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I'm assuming that's the same one. I, I can't tell, but it certainly looks like it. Oh, would you look at that? I think we have our winner. Okay, so you can't see from the camera because it's pointed down. This is totally in the mountains here. <laughs> that's freaking cool. That is super cool. Uh, much much nicer setting than <laughs> a lot of the ones around Illinois, anyway. It's pretty flat. This is uh, pretty wild to see. Very cool. Let me just zoom out again so you get one last look for those. Uh, so, yes, there's the Great Oz right there. And New Zealand, yep, up here. That's very, very cool. I don't know how far away that is. Maybe that's, uh, hmm, if I were to guess, maybe two hours away. No, uh, maybe like an hour and a half out southeast of Auckland there. Maybe these are different sizes. I can't tell throughout the video, guys, but I could safely say these sound like they're V8, so I'm a little confused. I know earlier I said that I thought they might have been four cylinders, but these are shooting flames. 
and uh, definitely getting V8 vibes <laughs> from that sound. So there you go. There is a quick look at New Zealand Super Stocks, guys. Really, really fun, enjoyable, quite entertaining, especially the starts are just mad. <laughs> and uh, very familiar, too. This really kind of hit home for me because this was, you know, similar to the Speedway racing that I grew up with. This was a huge part of my life. I used to go every weekend for years upon years. And uh, quite frankly, the last couple of years, I just haven't gone. And it's kind of a shame, right? Uh, I would like to go again, unfortunately, right now. It's winter, so it's off season. But I would love to hear your experiences, other things you would like me to check out with these, maybe another video or crashes or something, and then other motorsports around New Zealand or, or elsewhere you would like me to check out. This was really, really good suggestion, and uh, I enjoy seeing stuff like this. Throw a like on there. If you enjoyed this one, subscribe to be part of this amazing community. Check the description and uh, click on the link down there to check out that channel and go show them some love. My name is Ian. You're watching Night Rocker. Until next time, y'all. Catch you later.